All right, let's go. Uh, let's go, Huntress. I'm just gonna alternate between the two. That was a good run. That was a really good run. But yeah, Blazing Greater Wisps uh, comboed with my uh, comparatively low damage is kind of rough. Should drink some water while we wait for things to spawn. Eh, I should leave my water bottle open so I can actually reach it. Maybe. But yeah, I want to do a Huntress run where we have that many soldier syringes. No healing. Oi. I wanted to wait until we had Engineer for that one, probably. Because I feel like Engineer would be the go-to for that. Slow, yes, but turrets. Probably. Because I can't think of... A better way of handling it, honestly. Uh, I'm probably gonna go Goat Hoof. The soda would be nice. And the speed would be appreciated on her, but... Half the time we're going to be running backwards while shooting. Okay. I... I think... The main problem is just, like, we have next to no health. And I figure, I, I feel like, uh, right now, it would just be a bad idea. So you could just bum rush the ice zone since the difficulty is low. Okay, we'll do that on the next run. Obviously, I'm taking too long here. Thing is, like, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be playing my best here. This is, like, this is, like adequate bot right now I to bring back an old old thing uh, there's such a thing as peak wanderbot theory and we are pretty far from peak wanderbot today I'm tired my eyes hurt my head hurts uh, my my reflexes are pretty slow and will probably remain as such until Thursday when I get home and like once I'm once I'm back in my house and have had like a reasonable amount of sleep and I'm super comfortable and stuff, like that's that's when Peak Wanderbot comes out and can actually play this game well. Until then, we have adequate bot and he will do relatively well. But the other thing is also like Kind of depends on how good of a run you get. I'm not sure if I'd say that this run is... Perfect. Okay. I'll just use the... use the teleporter. Oh, we don't have the... We don't have the finder. Dang. So I have to be thorough on my own. No assistance. Sucks a bit, kind of. See, I thought Wonderbot knew about the secret area already. Uh, in this one, not so much, though. So. See, the entire run does need no healing, just up to a certain point. Yeah, but killing the ice... Uh, beating the ice section is actually pretty tough. Uh, especially, like, on the Huntress, maybe? Especially when I'm not rolling peak. Like, please, please don't, like, try and argue with me about whether or not I'm capable of a thing. I'm pretty sure I know my limits here. Couple more runs, couple more unlocks, I'd say we're good. Or, you know, a particularly strong start. I don't think this one qualifies.
Okay. Well, we've got Infusion, which actually solves the Huntress's, uh... One of the Huntress's main issues. Okay. Because uh, I, I like the Huntress, but her max health is always kind of dismal. So getting the Infusion really early is really helpful. Yeah, the drone counts as, as a healing item. Oh yeah, I'm aware. I mean, I, I was well aware that this was not going to be the run I was getting, uh... This is not the run that I'm getting no healing on, that's... I'm not up for that. I, I'm more interested in unlocking the new characters. I know the item that you unlock by doing the no healing is good. I'm just not convinced I'm going to be able to do it on Huntress right now. Because, like, everything hurts real bad. I forgot we already got uh, Bandolier. That's less cool. Be interesting enough, there's Lunar item that doubles healing, but over time does not count as a healing item. Huh. That's cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure the teleporter was up there. Oh, Lunar Coin! Alright, so we can unlock, uh... Which character is that? I actually don't know which character it is. It's until Wander gets back sickness. I actually have never gotten sick from a convention before. I usually just get sick randomly and not from people. Artificer. Okay, there it is. We don't have anything else to buy. I guess let's just do this. Now, interestingly enough, and I'm not going to say that, uh, please don't ask me for a spare copy, but interestingly enough, I actually got an email from Gearbox earlier today uh, giving me a, a spare copy of this, which I thought was kind of neat. Uh, one, I'm not used to getting emails from Gearbox. Uh, let alone, I was not exactly expecting a press copy for this. Ow. Okay. So, Beetle Queen, you're a little tougher than I gave you credit for. And I apologize for underestimating you, because that hurt. Oh, hey. Use item. Okay, what do we get? Eh. We get that. I'll take it. Is it? Oh, it's still alive. There we go. Problem solved. Please tell me I got a uh, Hapu Feather. I'll take a Hapu Feather. Wait, wait, this is a Gearbox game? Yeah, it's apparently published by Gearbox. I was not expecting that. I I figured uh Hapu was actually pretty pretty tied into like uh what is it? I, I figured they were they were pretty tight with like Chucklefish or something, because I'm pretty sure one of the original uh, dev team is like the main guy at Chuckle. I, I don't know. I actually don't know that much about Chucklefish, admittedly. But yeah, key for shell or friend to play multiplayer with. More multi. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to see if I can get in, in touch with like Price and maybe Rick or something. See if they're up for it. Or I don't know. I don't. I, oh, wait. No, 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 no. I know. Uh, I know Joe is actually big on roguelikes. Maybe, maybe Price and Jill? I don't know if they've played Risk of Rain yet, but still. See, I'm not gonna use the bear printer. Nah, I don't want- I actually am pretty- a pretty big fan of Paul's Goat Hoof and the regen item. If I had garbage, I'd go for it, but those are good? I don't know. Yeah, Hapu self-published Deadbolt. Interesting.
Yeah, I don't... I... I should probably look into more about, uh... The Chucklefish, like, inner workings. I mean, it's also entirely one of those where... Uh... They could still be tied to Chucklefish, but they figured it would be... You know, they might not have gotten a particularly large... Or they might not have had to give up, like, much of a cut. For, uh... For Risk of Rain 2. And they figured the pro promotional purposes would be better? I... I don't know. Because I know Gearbox wanted to announce this at pretty much the exact same time as, uh... The exact same time as... as Borderlands 3. Which is actually kind of exciting, sort of? I don't know, I'm looking forward to Borderlands 3. Uh, we gotta get through Borderlands 2. And the pre-sequel, though. I'm gonna be playing that with Moose and Joe, probably. More goat hooves. I just gotta figure out exactly when, though. Let's see. Anybody want to come here and fight me? I got two green items and I want to pay for it. You seem to be spending a lot of time on a single level. It's... I mean, yeah. I... It's, part of it is, like, I'm not used to the timing on, uh, guaranteeing it having enough money. Ugh. <sighs> like, I know the meta strategy is just bum rush for the portal. But, like, I gotta grab it all. Oh, at this point, I'm just wasting time. Right, I do have a hapu feather. Where is everybody? Ugh. There we go. Anything else here? I'm not sure why I did that, but that's okay. I didn't do much damage to that guy. Uh, let's just get out of here. I'll, I'll go tip the teleporter. I don't actually see a whole lot of other chests. Anyway. At least we're not getting those, like, stealth... Stealth things. Admittedly, this guy... This guy's got a, a rage rage on, but that's okay. Deal with it. I've got one more chest in the area. Yeah, we're good. You know what would be a really rad upgrade? It would actually just be double shot. It'd be insanely powerful, though. Because that would pretty much be a times 2 DPS no matter what. No, I mean, you could actually have it be, like, you know, nukes you down and stuff, but we'll see. Okay, so I have the portal. More goat hoof. We should probably grab that. Bosses, bosses are, are tough biscuits. Let's see. Just drop that there. And I think Bandolier works really well on Huntress. Hey! Another, uh, another mask. We got any more Bandoliers? Yeah, we do. I will admit, ban Bandolier on Huntress is amazing, because you can more or less just spit fire here. Okay. I do hope we can get our hands on a little bit more than this, but anyway, there goes the clay dune strider. Let's go find the rest of our gibbs. Will o wisp for that, I'll take. I will admit I'm always hoping for more of those like boss specific items, but eh. 
I don't know. Yeah, we've got all these locked doors all over the place. Have have yet to figure out how to open any of them. I've seen... Oh, portal's not done yet. I was just assuming since boss was done, we were good to go. Okay. Well, at least this didn't take too long. And yeah, it's a good thing we got the infusion. I'm hoping we can actually get uh, one or two more, just so we can actually be like a, a tanky sucker. One of the benefits of multi is I think multi has the highest HP gain of the current characters. Okay, so we're good to go. And so, yeah, that's part of the reason why I did so well last run. It was just because, yeah, Beef Chunk saves the day. Yeah, I don't see any other chests around. Okay, we got one. Med kit. I really liked that radar upgrade. It did make me a little bit more neurotic, but it certainly made it so I could grab more. If anything else around here, the answer is no. Let's see, can you give infusion to an item printer since no since it's no longer useful? Potentially? Ooh, happiest mask. Admittedly, I want to say happiest mask used to be more powerful back in the day just because, yeah, of how tightly packed everything was. Do I want the primordial cube? I don't know, actually. War banner, stun grenade, and it won't give me anything else. All right, well, let's get out of here. I spent enough time on this level. I mean, I'm probably fine. Yeah, I don't see any other items here. Let us go. Let's go. Appius mask can copy bosses. Oh wow. Okay, that's. That is pretty ridiculous. Hey, and we just got the engineer. Finally. This is shooting at me. Okay, so I gotta be here within 10 minutes to get that chest. Ouch. I mean, I could see it. If you just trigger the uh, teleporters, uh, that'd still be tough. Get him dead. Wow, that actually that does a decent chunk of damage. I think I'll probably switch out the missiles just because maybe maybe they scale better with your items. The item in that just is pretty wild. It's like a BFG. Huh. Oh, is it a use item? Well, maybe we'll we'll go running for it soon enough. Oh, 
Uh, let's see. I guess I've got missile spam to do a bunch of damage to my my enemies. I don't know. Let's see. Just gonna keep bouncing around until I have enough money for this. All right, we're almost there. There we go. That's that's enough. That's enough, and then some. And we got the ATG missile. I'm really hoping we get more soldier syringes. But I'm... Grab a crowbar. We don't have a crowbar. Crowbars are handy. I'm curious how much damage that's going to do. Probably not as much. Can I outrun them? I don't know. Do we have a lunar thing? Do we actually have anything down here? The answer is a very solid no. Disappointingly enough. Okay, so this sucker... This sucker is hurty. Unfortunately, me hitting it is hard. It does not exactly cooperate. Okay, do we have any other? No. I just gotta stay away from him for a second. A little bit of a lag spike there. Not much of one. But still, at least I've got... I, I like Happiest Mask. It'll probably get more ridiculous as we fight more enemies. I just... I feel like, uh... Oh, that's just my Lemurian. I was like, oh no, my drones! But no. Not, oh no, drones. Drones are fine. The other stuff, not so fine. We get an old war stealth kit. I mean, ultimately, I don't mind the old war stealth kit. It's just not nearly as punchy. Hmm. Disposable missile launcher. I don't know. Disposable missile launcher. Not much of a, uh... Upgrade there, unfortunately. No. I'm gonna make that. Dang it. I actually can get enough height for that now that I'm thinking about it. Just hard to pull off. Owie. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have the teleporter. We have a bunch of explosive things. Got this. I should probably pop the teleporter at this point now that we found it. Instead of yucking around. Oh, I can open this? Oh, good. And of course, there's two. Okay. Oh, this is the worst time for an itchy nose. At least we've got some of that and the ability to jump. Yeah, the problem is I'm super allergic to my parents' house. Uh, it hasn't been that big of a deal for me yet. But it will be. Let's see if I can get rid of these guys, because if I can if I can even get like a couple of helper ghosts. We got a bighorn bison, I don't know where it went though. They're kind of ghosts. I don't know if we can really hit the hit these guys, unfortunately. Eh. Eh. Okay, we get that. Hopefully these guys keep kinda hanging up next to each other. But not so much that I just get nuked into oblivion. 
Okay, I'm just gonna stay out of range for that. Really freaking awful times for me to... Uh, for me to itch my nose. Like, these bombs hurt. Okay, do we get a dupe of the bomb? Or not the bomb, the boss? Boss dupe? Are we a lucky duck? We're not a lucky duck. We're never a lucky duck. At least we get a leeching seed for it. Admittedly, leeching seed, eh, it's kind of okay. Okay, so I've got a decent chunk of money. They reduce damage while sprinting. I mean, technically, that's helpful on this character. Still of the greens, it's not my favorite. Uh, let's see, bleed damage. Bleed damage is welcome. Anything else? Let's see, a second leeching seed. And other use items if I wanted to get them. It's tempting. Ever get that chest open? I have no idea. I'm gonna grab the primordial cube. It's pretty good. Let's see, did you get laggy all of a sudden? Yeah, my, my parents' internet's not the greatest, and it's also one of those where uh, this computer is not the greatest. So there's a very real possibility that, yeah, if I start getting hit by some serious special effects, it, uh, it might look kind of crap. Not much I can do about that. Okay. Well, I think this is the end of it. M mostly. There's this shrine up here. What is this? Backup. 25 seconds of fighty drones. I'll take 25 seconds of fighty drones. That sounds pretty fun. And yeah, I spend too much time on these levels, but yeah, there's only so much like what the hi, that's a new one. Well, I'm not betting on the survival of my drones, to be totally honest. At least my like base damage is kind of decent. Okay, so you can get another hapu feather. Or we could go mystery. For the interest of survival, damage, and success, we might want that Hapu Feather first. Yeah, I've already lost one of my gunner drones. Because otherwise they're just gonna get skunked. Okay, we... No, we don't have enough. We don't have enough damage. Unfortunately, I'm not, like, uh... We don't have multi-levels of, of busted nonsense. Ow! That hurt. And it bailed. Just as I was hitting it with my cool abilities. Well, that's fine. Get that Hapu feather, just so I can bail. Cause like the thing is, as long as I can, as long as I can keep moving, 
it's going to be tough for things to hit me. I might not be very strong. Okay, those those guys are nice. And we got we got a bellman. Okay, that's that's some good damage. That's that's satisfying. And yeah, if I can keep uh if I can keep summoning dudes along the way. It'll work better for me too. Nope. And there goes my There goes my strike drones. At least at least happiest mask triggers fairly often here. I do want to say the enemies have, like, more HP in this one. I do more damage, but, like, it does feel like I'm killing enemies slower. Grab fuel cell. Which is actually kind of both amazing and useless on this item. I mean, the extra charges is nice. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be banking them like that. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. At least my, uh, my damage is getting a bit better. Hello, foe. I used to damage you. Alright, so where am I going? Do I go up? Because, yeah, we've got the mystery door here. Oh! We should probably evict that guy. Okay, oh, so I've never been back here. And I have no idea what this entails. So I'm kind of curious about this. Where does this lead? What does this do? What is back here? Is this the, this the way I came in? Oh. I think this is... Just an alternate way through. Okay, well at least I'm like, kicking fast. I'm assuming this is the right direction. I don't know, this might take a try or two. Nope. Wrong door. I I'm curious what we got back here. I just gotta... Hmm. It looks like it's just like a weird bell corridor. With three pathways? Yeah, is there actually anything back here? Because I think I came through that. And then I was curious and checked that out. I'm confused. Barrier's not helpful in the darkness, certainly isn't either. There's nothing there. Damn it. Also, welcome back, Limesta. How's life? You said it hits hit you like a truck, but what does that mean? Yeah, so it's probably the location of an artifact when they actually add them. That's, that's, I mean, that's okay. 
Just a bit disappointed. Waste of time! Everybody's like, why do you spend too much time on these levels? And they're right. Makes me feel self-conscious. Anyway, let's get up here. What do we at least get for this? Another fuel cell? No. Absolutely red whip. The, uh... The movement speed benefit is just too good. Oh, is there nothing up here this time? I feel cheated! Bamboobled! Snuckered! Disappointed! Sad. Alright, did I get this? I think I did. So at this point, we want to go find that teleporter. Whatever is left is not enough to offset the, uh... The time. And I've taken a bunch of extra time here. To, uh... To look around at things that straight up don't exist. I'm pretty sure there's still a number of items that I've completely missed. And we gotta... Oh, there it is. 